All right, under your lesson files, there is cyanide and old ink bottle. Open both of these with Photoshop CS5. It might just open one, and you have to go back and open the other one too. Good. Alright, so here I have this label, and here I have this old ink bottle. So we're going to put the label on the ink bottle. Okay. And to do this, first off, I want to show you warping text. So if you grab this text with the text tool, you can use the warp feature in here, arch. I'm just going to use a slight arch on this. And then I can use the move tool to move it back into position and shrink it down a little bit because warp makes it a little bit bigger. Just like that. So you can see how this is made in the layers. It's just a bunch of uh, old paper layers and a little cheesy drawing of a skull and that's it. Okay, Something real simple that all students can do. No doubt about it. So you can make a cyanide label if you wanted to or you can use mine. I'm going to copy merge this and go to old ink bottle and edit paste it into the scene. And then what I want to do here is kind of shrink this into the area a little bit so it fits on the jar, bottle. And I'm going to mess around with the exposure ratio because this exposure doesn't match this exposure. And what I'm doing here is looking at my navigator to kind of judge that. It's better to judge the thumbnail. That looks better. And then I'm going to warp this into place using the warp tool. I'll warp all the time. And I can closely match that angle right there on the jar just by following the contour around. Just like that. And I might want to take away some from the outside edge. I'm going to do that using the smudge tool. So what I want to do here is just take this and smudge it in some every once in a while. Make it like it has a few dents in the paper. Like it's been tried to peel off before. Though who would peel a label off a cyanide bottle? <laughs> That's just rude. Okay, there we go. And there we go. We have a cyanide bottle, poison, all ready to go. Um, another thing that you should kind of look at is the bottle. It's very bright and happy. So you might want to tone that down. And you can use the same exposure trick if you wanted to. Exposure knocks the light out. And if you ever want to, let's say, cut this out and put it into another image, that's very easy to do. Uh, you could use several tools, but since it's a hard organic or non-organic surface, what I would probably do is go around the outside edge with the pen tool. And you're just clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging. Just like that. And you can do this pretty fast. I'm going to just do this really quick because of the video try to keep these under 10 minutes you can use them in a wide variety of places if you keep your videos under 10 minutes ok 
keeps you from babbling too. Okay, there we go. Get that curve up, go all the way around the outside edge. And then when you are done, you can take and double click this to unlock it, put a new layer in the background, and then use that path, which is located under paths, to highlight the area. So here's your path. I can use this to highlight the area, select inverse it, and delete it. Okay, now you got a transparent bottle that you could put anywhere in a scene. If you save it as a ping, uh, you'll always have that transparency and you can put it on the internet too, on certain places. So there's a ping file in here right there and that'll save the transparency so it works on like myspace and places like that all right enjoy and on to the next lesson